exciting Euclidean tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, auto rotation uh, note muting of Euclidean modes and uh, inversion of bands now all three of those items were uh, new to 1.06 so let's go over them right now and the first thing I want to look at is uh, Euclidean mode and the ability to mute notes in this mode. Now previously we couldn't do that and mute was only available in polyrhythm and polymeter modes. So let's take a look at this uh, Euclidean rhythm which has 22 steps and uh, 16 um, events. So now in version uh, 1.06 we're able to turn off these 16 events just by tapping on the event itself. Uh, tapping that event again will re-enable it. Now by default, when you change the number of events on a band of a Euclidean rhythm, uh, all those events are created uh, and enabled. And by selectively disabling certain events, you can create a, a greater variety of rhythms and patterns. So that leads us nicely into the second uh, topic and new to 1.06, and that is auto rotation of bands. Now listen to this rhythm. Now if we mute all bands but band C, uh, we can listen to that in isolation and we can uh, selectively mute various events on that band just by tapping on the event itself. Now that does give us a bit of variety but to spice things up a bit, if we now long press on band C enable button, we'll get a new dialog appear and this allows us to uh, set the number of steps to rotate that band and the frequency of rotation. So currently it's on one rotation. Uh, we're going to change that to two. And as you can see now, it rotates one step every two rotations. And that allows us to add a little bit of variety and spice up a rhythm. And when you do that to multiple bands, it makes a world of difference because you have an ever-changing pattern. So let's take a look at a second pattern where the repeat is a little bit more obvious and see if we can break the monotony of this rhythm. So essentially what we've got here is the same rhythm, but as the uh, bands rotate, it's muting different notes uh, on each rotation, which gives the impression that things are played a little bit different. Now in this third example, you'll notice that when I start playing this pattern, uh, the, all the hands uh, realign back to 12, 12 o'clock uh, after 24 beats 
of the uh, pattern. So if you uh, keep your eye on this, now you'll see all the hands converging now. Now when this happens and all the hands meet back up at 12am, we call that a full cycle. And we can turn on this option here to enable uh, a rotation of a band on a full cycle. So if I set a couple of these bands up here, uh, we, can, uh, we can tell each band to rotate a given number of steps forwards or backwards after uh, the full cycle, which in this case is 24 beats. So just keep your eye on this and uh, we're coming up to that full cycle now. So hopefully that gives you some idea about the flexibility of the uh, band rotation. So that leads us to uh, another new feature which is actually band inversion. So take a listen to this uh, polymeter rhythm we've got here and, uh, and when I begin playback see if you can hear the difference when I invert band C and D. So if we isolate bands C and D and uh, hit the invert button, you'll see what's happening here. Any uh, notes that are currently muted become unmuted and anything that's unmuted becomes muted. So it's a pure flip. Now this works uh, this way on polymeter and polyrhythm. Uh, Euclidean works slightly different and we'll have a look at that uh, in a separate example. So let's take a look at how this would work in Euclidean mode. And the thing I want you to notice here that the number of steps and the number of events can be different for a band. And that causes a slight complexity in the way this works. So watch what happens when I uh, invert band A. So as you can see, because there are only 16 events and 22 steps, when we press the invert button it just inverts the events, which doesn't give the same thing as when we're in polymeter or polyrhythm modes. And if we isolate band B and hit the inverse button, you'll see that all the events turn off. And we didn't see the alternate uh, uh, events turn on, and that's because there, are, there aren't actually any events at that position. Uh, we've just got a number of events spread across a number of steps. Of course, if we turn some of those events off and at the invert, we get what we expect. So the only way to get a true inverse in this case is to set the number of steps and events both to the same value so that we can actually uh, toggle these intermediate events. And we can achieve that by just long pressing on the inverse button. And as you can see now, the number of events and steps has been set to the same value. And we've achieved a true inverse in Euclidean mode. So now it's possible to hit the invert button and get what we expect from that invert function. So let's take a listen to a couple of uh, examples that are using auto rotation uh, with more melodic instruments. Thank you. 
Now before I bring this video to an end, I'd like to point out a theoretical paper which uh, has been written by my good friend David Collett. And uh, this can be accessed uh, via the help system and uh, is a real uh, in-depth dive into the differences between Euclidean polyrhythm and polymeter modes. And uh, David goes into extreme detail here about the differences between the various modes and how that fits in nicely with uh, the Euclidean app. Uh, it's, uh, it's worth a look. It will give you plenty of ideas and suggestions for making the best use of uh, the Euclidean application. So I hope you take the time to have a look at this. Uh, it even goes over some of the mathematics involved uh, in, in calculating these things because it's quite difficult and, uh, and, and David's been a real big help in helping me develop uh, these different modes. So that's just about it for this video. Don't forget to thumb up the video and uh, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be lots of uh, exciting new tutorials coming very soon. So see you next time.